I'm a hip young filmmaker and digital artist who miraculously has become friends with some aging, what they call fine artists. And uh, I've been invited to some of their parties and I've been uh, trying to tell their stories a little bit. My name is John Thornton and uh, I'm going to bring you a few humorous moments from our last get together. Now these people, they're, they are getting a little older, but they're still cool, man. Dude, watch this, you're gonna love it. These old dudes are cool. No, what you all don't realize is I am the classic case of someone who can dish it out, but I can't take it, so please try to be nice to me. <laughs> Several of this group came together because of Facebook. And being a very talented Photoshop artist, I've tried to help some of them improve their Facebook images. My friend Taryn is, in my opinion, the queen of art and thus deserves a special accoutrement. Now Taryn, how are you doing? We haven't seen you for so long. Taryn, no, don't be shy. Do you remember I gave you that crown? Oh, yes. yes. Did you like your crown? That was highly John, embarrassing. John looks like a insect. <laughs> One of my friends has a pretty unique excuse for why he uh, only paints nude women these days. Who are all these naked people? I, I've been working on nudes just because I don't need to worry about doing other paintings for galleries because there's because of the recession and I'm not selling anything so I can now I can do what I really want to do <laughs> which is nude women <laughs> one thing that older people tend to do is they have kids and kids God bless them can be a pain in the piney I, I didn't know whether we should go inside or not. Um, but we should go with some drinks. Hello? Uh, Chris, you are in a apparent parental crisis right now. No, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> I'm a stern taskmaster, taskmaster as a father. Actually, I'm such an easy touch and scare baby. <laughs> New style? Yeah, this is one of my... Um, it's from my, like my childhood period. Oh, that's your drawing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it really? No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no it's my son's. <laughs> cool people the world over know there's one party accessory that can never be neglected. It's your shades, baby. You look a little bit like Lee Remick with those sunglasses. Well, was... That's funny you say that, because somebody years ago told me that. Anatomy of a murderer. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just came in from outside and it started to rain. So. Yeah, I guess these lights are pretty intense. He comes back and said, I can't make those sunglasses. I said, why not? Because the prescription you have is three years and a week old. And I'm only allowed by Pennsylvania law to use a prescription that's three years old. So I said, you mean to tell me I can't have you make me sunglasses? According, because they work perfectly. You're not allowed to do it even though I authorize you to do it, no. I said, what genius in the state senate did that? I don't know what genius, what, do you have a problem with it? I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> well, you should get uh, clip-ons. I had them, but they broke. Oh. <laughs> I, what did you say, Fred? I said you look like an insect. Why don't you let me have the camera and I'll, I'll, I'll shoot Okay. You. All right, John. What insect do you think you are? I, I, <laughs> praying mantis. <laughs> All right, because we have chicken. You know the praying mantis female eats the male. It's amazing, but I learned how to make films from this one artist named Fred Danziger. Anyway, Nancy, I'm very sorry that I got John started on this. Yep. Oh, Fred was. Oh. <laughs> Fred made a movie and said, "No, you can. It's easy to do." And he showed me how to do it. <laughs>
and that and then it just rolled out of them like a, you know, one movie after another. Yeah, no, thank you, Brad. I've made like four in, in the past three years, you know, and he, he makes four a week. <laughs> My friend Dick Rank is having a show in September in Philadelphia, and he's preparing a catalog of his work. He wanted me and young Liz Wilson, she's the other young person of the group, to look over the uh, catalog, and we did so. Unfortunately, Dick had a little bit of, well, you'll see. I think you know what is best. You know we're upside down. Yeah, you're sideways. I mean, it's something like that. We'd be impossible outside the rain. It does look good, Jack. It really does. Yeah. It's just a few minor. Except for that stain. What did you poop on that thing? No, that looks like guacamole. Did you? I hope so. I'd like everybody to know that this is John's pork stain, and he ruined my previously clean. Then what you bring Dick, in your where were, were you yeah. sitting on that or not? <laughs> so pretty. Is it unheard of that someone has a Did little I anal leaking at a party? Yeah, I mean, that happens all the time. Talk. One of those I haven't had a touch of alcohol in, in close to three weeks, and uh, I see it as something that my friends might want to emulate. But what is the wagon? Yes, what is the I wagon? I think it's the beer. Where did that go? I have been on, on the wagon for almost two weeks, and I look at my friends. Look at them; they're all standing in the rain. They're all they're all drinking alcohol. We haven't even opened our glasses. Well, no, not until we get the. Oh, that looks good. Try your teeth, Chris. Take a glug of that, Pat. You'd think when they get, you know, kind of long in the tooth the way they are, they wouldn't be too interested in showing off their aging bodies. But that's not the case with my friend Garth. Watch and learn. I was at the World Naked Bike Ride in okay. Washington, D.C. It was all about people being sans clothing on a bicycle. Were there any spontaneous erections? No. Uh, well, that's good. Were there bare breasts? Yes. Were there police? Yes, there were. Were they gawking? Maybe. <laughs> did you get in any trouble? No. Was it fun? Yes. How far did you go? Well, we went about four and a half miles. Uh, we you were went, supposed uh, to say I went to third base. Third base, right, yeah, was, okay. We went down Pennsylvania Avenue, then, well, we, then we went up past the White House and stopped in front of the White House. Did the Obama children come out to watch? Uh, I, I couldn't tell. There was, it was crowded. It was, we were surrounded by a crowd. I couldn't tell. Did Bo bark at you? Bo? That's dog? Obama's dog. Uh, I didn't hear any dogs. It's been alleged at this party that you are a naturist. Is that true? <laughs> oh, a, a, a closet naturist, I guess. Right, and you've been... Yeah. Attending naturist beaches in New York City or well, the New Jersey beaches, yeah. We just don't want the artist community to lose you to the naturist community. Liz, if your good friend Garth was a naturist, would it bother you? Not at all. Are you a naturist? I am. I'm going over the edges. All right, you, you want to you wanna amend your statement? I do. Now that I find out that he's a nudist, um, no, I'm not really into that. I don't even know, want to know about that bike. So you're upset that Garth is an atrist? Yeah, I like him with his clothes on. Pardon? I'm a phlogistus. Oh, you are not. <laughs> you are not a phlogistus. What is that? And Lavoisier was wrong. <laughs> Could you explain that comment? <laughs> no, you'll have to Google it. Right. P H O L I or P A. Uh, I don't. I don't know how. To You're a phlogistus, eh? <laughs> Do you think Garth is trying to talk other people into joining his decadent ways? He was wearing that marijuana T-shirt. Oh, sure. I'm sure somewhere. A really famous artist just suggested that it's a marijuana. Sure. Is that correct? I don't know. It's from. Uh, it could be. Joseph Banks says they sell marijuana shirts. Well, there you go. Those old art coots 
Might have a little bit of snow on the rooftop, but they still got a lot of fire down where it counts. Hope you enjoyed my film.